Yes. Yes, I would. Yes. Yes. Yes, I would. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Now I would look to friends for support um, and also clinical support. I think it obviously depends on the, the, the nature of that problem. I think if it was something that was of a relatively minor nature, then certainly reaching out for help, like to Dorset Mind or a local support group. But above all else, reach out to your partner, to your friends, to your family. Um, from previous experience, I have went to my GP first, but I also looked online to kind of local support in the area just to see what was available. Uh, my support, I believe, uh, a lot of the support that I rely on is my mother. She's, um, she's my rock in that sense. Um, I do have a lot of personal friends, however, you know, I've got a best friend that does suffer from mental health himself. Um, he's always been my go-to. We bounce off each other in that sense. I'd probably start by talking to my friends and family. I think with any kind of anything that's going on in my own head, um, I like to start just conversations with people I know, and depending on how those conversations go, perhaps seeking more formal support through a GP or um, something like Steps to Wellbeing or some of Dorset Mind services. Firstly, it'd be from the people closest to me that I have trust in, that won't overshare their situation or lived experience in an effort to try and help me and then therefore drown me out getting it out of being completely internalised would be the help that I think a lot of people would need. My mental health started to plead in around about 2007. Um, I became anorexic and I feared that food was going to make me sick um, to the point where I was down to like eight stone. So once I finally went to that GP to get the help they didn't really know what I was going through. They just did loads of blood tests to see what was wrong with my body. Um, and it got really bad where I then wanted to take my own life, um, where I was at work, went to the top of the building basically, and then pulled myself away after about 10 minutes. And now I'm at a point where I'm in a lot better than I was before, like to the point where I'm actually coming off medication. I'm slowly coming off of it. Um, only a couple of months to go until I'm off it, which is good. But I'm feeling a bit more human if that makes sense. I've been through a, a couple of phases of where I would say um, severe depression. Um, the first related to work pressures. Um, the idea that I was failing mentally felt like I was letting everyone down. What uh, therapy did for me at that point because I was suffering from exhaustion uh, and I really had kind of hit rock bottom. What therapy did for me there was to realize that actually my brain was working against me. There was a couple of friends that I said I was you now was going to therapy and they obviously saw physically that I'd changed and that really helped because I had an outlet from outside of my brain to talk to a couple of people at least. So I think in terms of my own mental health, um, like everyone and particularly during the COVID pandemic, uh, feeling quite anxious, quite worried. It could have been about things that were real, so health, um, you know, myself, friends and family, but it could also manifest itself in other ways of kind of um, irrational or fears that you can't quite um, place your, uh, or feelings of anxiety that you can't place um, and seem a, a little bit unfounded. Yeah, running and, and getting outdoors. I now have much more awareness of what running gives me, you know, the fact that it gives me a sense of um, like, like a clear focus, a sense of community, being part of a, a running club. I think one, one of the real good starting points is to look at one or all of the five steps to well-being, so the typical type of things that you'd be looking at is, you know, getting out to, to, to have exercise every day, to eat well, 
um, to talk, to reach out to others. Top tips from me. Um, so I love nothing more than being outside in the fresh air. I make sure I'm out running or I absolutely love road cycling. Um, it's a great mind clearer. And I think in the morning, starting my day when I can do with 10 minutes, 15 minutes of just quiet meditation time has been a real big game changer for me as well that I set myself up right for each day. I mean, I was doing hot yoga for about five years. This was due to a, another stressful time in my life. It, it really did help me to offload, you know, the worries or the anxieties about what was happening during that time. And they do say that if you don't have um, five minutes spare to meditate, you should go and meditate for an hour. And obviously regarding health, I think it's so key because if you look after your health, your health will look after you.